Hey everyone and welcome to another Airbrush Asylum quick tips video. Recently we've been getting lots and lots of questions about uh, how we mix our paint. So I thought, perfect, I'm gonna answer that for you or try to answer it as best as possible today in this video. So let's get straight into it. We are going to be focusing today on the Trident um, water-based paint series. So whatever I tell you today, you can still utilize the same mixes for whatever paint you're using. Um, I also use Createx illustration colors and I use a similar mixing ratio for them um, when I don't want to uh, manipulate the paint. If I want to do that, then a lot of the time I don't use a lot of reducer because I want the paint to perform the way it's intended straight from the bottle. But that's another story, that's another video, and that is um, talking about the illustration colors by Createx, all right? Today, let's get into um, how we mix Trident airbrush colors. So these are water-based paints. Firstly, I wanna start off with um, talking a little bit about the reducer. So Trident offer two different options. And let me just uh, put that there. Right, so we have the reducer, which is your standard reducer, okay? This one here. And basically with the, the standard reducer, what happens is you just use that straight in your airbrush and um, that will thin your paint down to your desired mixing ratio. The other option is you can purchase the reducer concentrate, okay? So with the reducer concentrate, this is obviously heavily concentrated and you mix it at a 10 to one mix with bottled water. And I do recommend using bottled water. Trident also package up all of their um, uh, their kits, like the primary kit, flesh tone kit, and true eight kit. So the 50 mil packs um, are all packaged with a reducer concentrate of 50 mil. So again, mixing that with your bottled water, it will make 500 mil. So don't attempt to use that um, straight out of the bottle because your paint is not gonna flow correctly. All right, so that's the difference between reducer concentrate and just regular reducer. For today's video, I've already mixed up some uh, reducer, so we are just going to use regular reducer. So this one here, okay, you can sit that there. We've got the double camera thing going, so hopefully you guys like that. Um, all right, so we're gonna start with that. We're gonna mix up. Now what we're gonna use to mix is the Trident mixing bottles, okay? So these come in a pack of 10. Um, and it works out to about $1.70 a bottle. So that's current as per April 2018. So at the time of making this video. So let's um, unpack this. They also give you a color chart, which is handy. All right, so you get that with it. I'm gonna get a bottle out now. And we're gonna get two bottles out actually because we're gonna mix one for an eclipse, so the iWater Eclipse, which runs a, um, a 0.35 needle, okay? So we're gonna mix up one of those for the eclipse, and the other one we're gonna use is gonna be a bit thinner ratio, and that's gonna be our mix for the Micron, so CMC Plus, which runs a 0.23 mil needle, okay? So let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna start with the mix for the eclipse. All right, so it's gonna take the cap off. Now these caps, they all have the pop top lids, which is handy. All right. And we're gonna add some reducer in there now. So we're gonna do about a one to one mix. Oh, it might be easier for the video just to unscrew that. All right. So one to one, basically the amount, whatever the amount of paint, uh, sorry, reducer that you put in there, we're gonna add the same amount of paint, okay? You can see I'm not using any measuring cups or anything like that. The reason being is I thought, I'll just do this video as simple as possible. That way if you've got, you know, little jars or bottles with nothing written on them, because a lot of them don't have measurements, um, you can just follow this and do a lot of it by eye. You don't need to worry too much about accuracy. Um, a lot of my paint I mix by eye and it works fine. And then you just can adjust it as you need it um, if it's not 100% to your liking. 
All right, so we now we have the True White by Trident. The reason I thought we'd do um, white is because it's the most talked about color. What's the, <laughs> it's pretty much the, the color that we get asked about the most in all um, aspects of mixing and tip drying issues and all that sort of stuff. Um, white and black are definitely the worst two paints. Um, black's not too bad actually by Trident, but white still does tip dry a bit. So I thought, perfect, we'll, we'll run the video focusing on white and then um, you can just mix up all your colors from there. All right, so I'm gonna give this a bit of a shake. And we are now going to put in just as much paint as we have reducer, all right? So you kind of got to do a bit of a visual memory when you're doing it by eye. But I reckon about there is good. Okay, and then we're gonna seal that up. Give that a shape. And that's our mix for the Eclipse, all right? So what we're gonna do now is Grabbing our Eclipse airbrush, you can see it there. It's nice having the twin angle. We're gonna put some put some of that paint in there. And I'm gonna spray out on this black bit of paper so you can see how it flows. So a broad spray. You know, we're still getting some sort of coverage, but it's reasonably thin. And then up close, you can do some, some lines. And it's working nicely. So again, if you want, if you want more coverage than that, by all means, um, you know, run it a bit thicker. But again, if you, you know, you want it to, do less tip drying, which I prefer, then a one-to-one -one mix with the reducer works pretty well. All right, so that's the Eclipse. Now, let's switch over to we'll switch over to our Micron. It's another sheet of paper. Just want to lift this off and place this in the same spot, or reasonably in the same spot. That's pretty good. So if this is your first time to one of our videos, uh, thanks for watching and feel free to hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon and that will notify you every time we put out new content. So, okay. So we can see now the next empty jar and this one we're gonna thin out a bit more. This one I'm gonna do a bit differently we're going to add the paint first okay because what I want to do is I want to do a mix of about 30% paint 70% reducer okay so let's put that in first Another thing you could do is get a ruler or some sort of measuring tool and just hold it to the side of the bottle and then that way you can work out basically how much to add. Okay, so now if I'm adding 70% of that, we've got to now match it up so you can see how much paint we've got in there. So double would be up to about here. Right, so that would then mean we've got that again. We want to add another, um, so we want to be 70%, so not 50%, so another half of that roughly. So we want to come up to about here. So if you need to, you can also mark it. Just a little bit more. Again, like I said, this is by eye. But hopefully it gives you some indication of how we do things. All right, give that a shake. And then I'm gonna put this in my micron. And we're gonna test that one. So 
So, top that up there. So this is going to be a lot thinner. Now the beauty of this particular um, Micron is that we've got this adjustment on the front as well. So what I can do is I can drop the air pressure to suit. So if I want to run it a bit um, thinner as I am now with the paint, um, I'll show you how it sprays first. You can see it's extremely watery, but it sprays really nice given that this is running a 0.23 mil needle. So at the moment, current air pressure that we're running is at about just over 55 um, PSI, so it's quite high. Um, but that, you know, you can hear that with the, um, with the clip, it's really pumping out. But let's, if we want to turn it down, so I'd probably run the Eclipse at that sort of paint thickness. I would run it at about 30 PSI. So let's do that now. All right, so we've now dropped it down to about 30, and you'll notice that we get quicker coverage. So that's probably a bit more of an optimal air pressure for the Eclipse if you want to get decent coverage. So say you're doing t-shirts or wall murals, um, I'd do your one-to-one -one mix and 30 PSI, and then that way you're going to get reasonably minimal tip drying but decent enough coverage okay with the micron like i said i can adjust on the front so let's go and drop that right down and i reckon that's probably at about 10 to 12 psi maybe all right and now we can spray again and you can see that still flows really nicely and no tip drying whatsoever and you can see you can get really fine detail. So that's what we want. If you want to crank it up a little bit, by all means, that's the beauty of the Mac valve, you can do that. And then that's going to give you just a bit more coverage, a bit quicker, but because it's thin, you've got to be careful when you turn the pressure up. Um, if you do that, you can also spider it out, okay? So hopefully that gives you some indication on how we mix our paints and you know what sort of air pressure we're running and how thin I like to do it. So just a quick recap, um, we basically for, for general purpose airbrushing, um, you know, not super fine detail, but still, you know, you can still do reasonable detail. I would run at about 30 PSI on, the, on your setup on your regulator and with a one-to-one -one paint mix. So one-to-one -one meaning the same amount of reducer to the same amount of paint. If you want to do detailed stuff and you're running through a Micron or a finer airbrush, then follow my 30% um, paint, 70% reducer, okay? And turn your air pressure down to about, you know, if you don't have the Mac valve on the front, run it at about 10 to 15 PSI and you'll get a nice performance out of that, okay? So hopefully this video has helped you guys. Love to hear what you think. Um, if you have any other questions or if you have any other requests for videos, by all means, put them in the comments. And we will see you again very, very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.